Tonight, we report on a new fire that added smoke to Grant County over the weekend and how the Moses Lake Irrigation and Rehabilitation District hired a new manager. What's going on in sports, Bob? The Apple Sox wrapped up their three-game series with the Black Bears, and the Senior Babe Ruth World Series Tournament gets underway in Efreda on Thursday. Here's a glance at our Weather Center forecast. And it appears as though the heat wave is coming to an end. Temperatures are going to be much more bearable, but another little heat wave at the end of the period. All the details coming on up. I'm Alan Troop. Stay tuned for all of this and much more on i Fiber one News. From the i Fiber one HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is i Fiber one News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is i Fiber one News, and it starts now. A wildfire that burned six to eight homes between Twisp and Winthrop has been contained by firefighters. The fire started on Friday, adding some smoke to the air over Grant County this weekend. Fire spokesman Brian Scott said firefighters have built a line all the way around the Rising Eagle Road fire. He says they make good progress on the fire that burned about 500 acres in the same area as the Carlton Complex fire in Okanagan County. Although there were some more new fires started by lightning in North Central Washington on Saturday, none were serious and all were extinguished quickly. Scott said evacuation notices for the rising Eagle Road fire were revised on Sunday and people were able to go home. Moses Lake's National Night Out is tomorrow. Reporter Lexi Perry has the story. Enjoy live music, free food, and dunk the chief of police at National Night Out. The event takes place Tuesday, August 5th from 7 to 9 p.m. at Lake Town Landing in Moses Lake. National Night Out is a nationwide event designed to increase awareness about crime prevention. There will be information on crime prevention, traffic safety, and child safety from organizations such as Moses Lake Community Prevention Coalition and the Grant County Sheriff's Office. Other events include free finger painting and bicycle registration by the Moses Lake Police Department. The event is hosted by the Moses Lake Police Department in partnership with the Moses Lake Business Association. Reporting for iFiber One News, I'm Lexi Perry. Thank you, Lexi. A man running from the Washington State Patrol reportedly tried to back over a trooper, backed into a patrol car, and was arrested. Trooper Marvin Slemp was helping with a traffic stop for DUI early Sunday morning in Moses Lake when he saw a suspicious driver in a 1992 GMC pickup truck near the scene. The driver allegedly backed the pickup toward the trooper and missed, then fled the scene, being pursued by the state patrol. The pickup reportedly stopped near the intersection of South Interlake Road and West Driggs Drive shortly after 1 a.m. and backed up again, this time striking the patrol car. The chase continued on foot until Slim caught up with the suspect who struggled with the officer. A taser was used to subdue the suspect. James Lee Allen, a 50-year-old Moses Lake resident, was arrested for attempting to elude a pursuing police officer, assault in the third degree, and was given tickets for unsafe backing and failure to yield the right of way. Chris Oberland is the new Moses Lake Irrigation and Rehabilitation District Manager. The district's board approved Overland's contract during a special meeting on Friday. The district has been searching for a manager since Kurt Carpenter resigned from the position in March. The new manager is receiving $75,000 a year and started work the day he was hired. Overland worked for Simplot for 32 years as a supervisor. Board Chairman Jeff Foster said Overland was one of six applicants for the position. Now let's take a look at people currently being sought out by the Grant County Sheriff's Office. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grant County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. And we'll be right back with weather and sports.